What is up everyone, this is Rob the Vapor and we are back today with another juice review. Okay, so today we are going tropical again because I want the uh, beach flavors that the good guys at Blueprint A Train gave me. But we're not reviewing that today, obviously. We did that yesterday. So, today we are doing, let's see if we can get this focused, Puff in Juice by Puff You Premium. Son of a beach, um, 10 mils, 18 milligrams, 60 pg, 40 vg. Normally I don't like pg dominant juices, but uh, what I will say is I do like this juice as well. Um, it, it is quite f similar to Blueprint A Train. And um, I'll give you a little bit from the website first before we talk about flavors and stuff like that. <clears throat> Let's get this up here. Okay, so. Take a trip to the tropics with a unique, one-of-a-kind blend from Puff You. Flavor profiles are coconut, pineapple, watermelon, and a tart surprise. I think the tart surprise they're talking about is a little bit of lemon. Um, I personally thought that this was a pineapple dominant liquid. To me, it tasted pineapple dominant. On the inhale, on the exhale, it's more coconutty. Let's just see if we can. Mmm, <laughs> that's tasty. Uh, yeah, so I think it's it's definitely a pineapple on the inhale, coconut exhale. The tartness is there as well on the exhale. Just a little tiny bit. It leaves a tiny little flavour on your tongue, maybe just that little lemon juicy type of thing maybe it's lime could be lime but another thing about this juice is it leaves a great smell in your room um, it's, it's a really nice smell to actually come into a room and actually smell it so it's 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 quite good for that too when you're you know hot box in a room or whatever it's pretty good I'm gonna try it again here because it is nice I like it And with most of the juices, I got this through a sample box because it's a great way for me to re review juices, not only juices that I normally wouldn't try, but juices that are from America. And because I don't want to spend so much on shipping and all these separate juices, so this is a great way for me to get my hands on a lot more American stuff. Um, great juice. Slightly PG dominated, but, you know, I mean, that doesn't really bother me too much. I, I, my personal preference is 70% VG, 30 PG probably, even on these clear advisors. I know people say that these can struggle with a heavy VG blend, but I find mine fine. It's alright, it can flood a little bit, but it's manageable. Um, again, these guys on their website, funnily enough, they don't actually state where the, if it's PG or VG. Why? I don't know, it says it on the bottle. Come on guys, get your stuff together. They do not say if they use diacetyl or if they, if it's present, obviously, not that they use it. Yeah, we use diacetyl, we throw it in everything, no. But I mean, they don't say if it's in there. It's made in the USA. Uh, check before use. It has a nice little born date on the bottle, which is nice, it tells you that. And we're at 11 watts here on this eye test. MVP, Aspire Nautilus, the fancy coils. I'm gonna call them the fancy coils from now on. Um, and yeah, it's, it's it's a great vape, and we're at 11 months if I didn't say that already. Lots of vapour, even for a PG juice, I mean, it's fine. Definitely nice little clouds out of it. They do okay, they're, they're not like the VG dominated clouds like you would be used to, but nice throat hit as well. Um, and I, I, I just think it's a, it's a good juice. Um, is it an all day vape? Yeah. Um, does it blow my socks off? No, no. But if you guys um, have tried this by any chance, otherwise I can't really give you much to go off. But the pineapple flavors in this perfume aren't as explosive as in this. 
So it's subtle. This is a more creamy. There's that. I think there's definitely cream in there, of some description. It's creamy, smooth, tropical vape. It's not an in-your-face. You know, it's a very mellow taste, and I like that. It's it's not intense. So yeah, I like it a lot. You know, seven red out of ten. I don't really know where I'd settle on it. Again, these type of juices aren't really my thing, but you know. I'm gonna move on to something that is probably more my thing. We might even try a bubblegum flavored juice tomorrow. I'm not really looking forward to that. I don't like bubblegum flavored juices, but you know, I'm gonna try it. I try and be objective as possible when I'm reviewing juices that the flavor isn't maybe to my tests. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to allow for the fact that, you know, I mightn't like this, you know? And I try to do that. So if I if I say juice is really bad, then that means it's fucking bad. Like that means that I can't see from any perspective that it's nice. You know, I do try and you know I can appreciate a well made juice is what I'm trying to say. And this is a, a really well made juice, and it would probably actually be even better after steaming. Um, yeah. So there you go, guys. Puffin juice by Puffu Premium, son of a beach. I don't know what their name is. They've got like Puffu Premium. Puffin Juice is the name of the company, I guess, and this is a premium of theirs. And yeah, it's Son of a Beach. I enjoyed it, man. Check it out yourself. If you like tropical blends, you'll probably really dig this one. I can't state that enough. Really well made. And uh, yeah, I've been robbed of vapor. Haters catch the vapors. Peace. Fairly sure.